uh, defining moment in my career path is when I first started in hospital administration and within the first couple months I was called in the CEO's office and asked to do a 20% reduction in labor force and that was very defining for me. I, uh, I've always been interested in construction. Uh, very early on I started out uh, building movie theaters and when I ended up in banking and finance uh, I guess it was fate that drew me to the returning a phone call that I got from a construction company. Uh, ever since then I've, I've been involved with the finance and, and dealing with all kinds of new construction that's going on in the city. <laughs> My first concert, I think, was in about 1975 or 74. I saw Barry Manilow at the UC Fieldhouse when his first song, Mandy, had just come out. My first concert was in 1985, and it was Madonna and the Beastie Boys, and it was a great show. It was meaningful to me because it was my first one uh, going solo in college with my friends, and um, looking back now, knowing what I know about Madonna and the Beastie Boys, uh, I feel very lucky to have been able to see that uh, in 1985. First concert that I remember uh, was uh, Jimi Hendrix at uh, Cincinnati Gardens in 1969. Uh, I guess I've, I've sold cars on airplanes. Um, I'm flying with someone and he told me how disgruntled he was with his current car and uh, started talking about Lexus and before we landed had a, had a deal all worked out. I was down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida and wasn't looking for any kind of new business, but uh, was at an insurance convention and happened to meet a group of folks who needed some land and some new buildings up in Cincinnati. And lo and behold, we worked next to each other for years and never knew it. I actually do have one. The most unique place I've ever done a business deal, deal was while traveling on a Greyhound bus. So uh, at that point, I was commuting back and forth. I just moved to Dayton. My family still lived in uh, Detroit and uh, was um, caught a, uh, a Greyhound bus, and I was actually uh, negotiating a real estate transaction on the Greyhound bus. I hope that my employees uh, would describe me as someone who is positive, who's forward thinking, and who uh, supports them in the uh, experiences where they are taking a risk to do something special on behalf of students. Um, I think my employees would describe me as fair but firm, also pretty creative. I come up with some pretty crazy ideas and some stick on the wall, some don't. And uh, just overall um, uh, fun to be with. Honest, fair, uh, very down to earth and rational. I would really like to um, be able to flash forward into the future and see what health and health care looks like. I'd really like to see what, what we actually do with the information that, that we're acquiring today. I guess I, 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 mine would be future and probably in the sense that uh, it wouldn't be a single event, it would be a multiple event. I'd like to see all of my grandchildren happy and engaged and healthy. The superpower, um, I guess, would be if they, they had the ability to um, predict what um, a, customer, <laughs> a customer's real objection to buying a car is, because so many times it's uh, you know, trying to find out to fit the right customer to the right car or to you know to find out what the uh, what the, what it is that they're really uh, they're really looking for. I would hire the Flash. Anybody who could build the job quicker and generate more profits and make our customers happy is who I'd want. Um, it would have to be time manipulation. I would love like time to stop and give me a few hours to get work done where there's no new requests coming in. Um, I think that would be a wonderful superpower. Um, I think I would want someone who could clone themselves into about four or five different people and, and uh, be able to do all the different things that, that we want to do to get, get it done um, for patients. And 
um, probably also some of that like resiliency and positive attitude. Bulletproof. Uh, I think that ego and being overly sensitive uh, can really impair uh, your ability to make good rational decisions. So I think somebody that doesn't take themselves too seriously and can handle uh, criticism and adversity, uh, even if it's directed at them in a, in a seemingly individual way, if they can handle that with grace, uh, that's an incredible attribute in my opinion. I have the uh, unique um, experience of working with many, many handicapped and at-risk children whom I observe having had very few positive comments or any positive experiences ever in their lives. And so I would want to be a person who had the ability to let every child anywhere to feel important and valued and loved.